Uh, so China has over the past two years or so finally got into the point where it's been increasing clean energy faster than uh, the total growth of uh, energy consumption and uh, electricity consumption has been. And uh, also clean energy growth has been coming in um, uh, faster than the average growth in uh, energy demand. So we're really st talking about a potential structural uh, peak in total uh, fossil energy consumption. And that has required incredible mind-boggling amounts of uh, uh, wind and solar. If if uh, um, you, you know how much a gigawatt is and, and you're putting 300, 400 gigawatts per year of uh, uh, wind and solar online, uh, that, that has been incredible. And it, it has been also an important driver of uh, China's economic growth, as our research has been suggesting. And and so um, what we've projected is if you take the current rate of uh, clean energy additions that was already achieved in 2023, 25, and the other positive um, trends that have been going on, like the, the uh, um adjustment uh, of the uh, real estate and construction sector, which is resulting in, in uh, falling demand for cement and steel, which are the two largest emitting sectors after power and so on. If you take those positive trends, then you're already on track to a 30% reduction in emissions from current levels to 2035, which is in line with uh, the very um, uh, high end of, of uh, where you want to be um, to align with 1.5 degrees.